Welcome to our screencast Apple for Service Providers. In this screencast I want to show you how you can manage the timekeeping of your employees, how you can monitor ill days, holidays and overtime of your team. So on the left side when clicking on timekeeping of the Apple menu you will first see your individual timekeeping. As I'm currently logged in as admin, I will not see any timekeeping because I didn't add one. In the tab All Timekeeping, I can just see all the timekeepings of my employees and I can filter by month, year and name. I can click Day if I want to see all the timekeepings, that means all the working time of each employee in my company. If I click Month, I will see the timekeeping aggregated by month and if I click year I will see the timekeeping aggregated and reported for the current year or for one year that I can filter. So just let's masquerade to another user. Let's use the project manager. Go to the timekeeping and add a new working time. In this form you see the working time type. This can be a working time. For example, if I want to add my working time of today, I will immediately show you how to do this. If I want to report holiday, if I go to vacation and I want to let my team know that I'm on vacation, I can click holiday and this will also appear in the global calendar. And if I click holiday, this will be reduced from my total amount of available holidays that are given from my contract. I can also add ill days. Again, these days will occur in the calendar and will be visible for the whole team. And I can take a day off if I want to reduce my over hours. And I can choose reduce over hours got paid. That means I got paid for my over hours. So these, will, these over hours will be subtracted from the total amount of over hours in my timekeeping. Let's create a new timekeeping for my current working day. I started for example at 8 in the morning and worked till 6 in the evening. I had a break from 12 to 1 at noon. Let's save this. I will see this working time of 9 hours and 1 hour for the break was already subtracted. So I can also report my current month. That means I have an overtime of minus 102 hours because I didn't add any working time as a project manager here. If I run the cron job, then these reports will be rebuilt. So this is not a live preview, it's only a preview from the latest cron run. Because creating these reports for all employees and all timekeepings may have an impact on the performance of the website because of heavy calculation. So it's a better decision to let this run during the cron job. I can also see my reports for the current year. Let's see what these single numbers mean. Starting from month, excuse me, starting from days, I just see all the single working times that I added. I see my holidays and if I go to my calendar, I will see that I have a holiday from the 25th till the 29th. And this is exact this working time I added as type holiday. All the others are working times. Let's see our report for the month granularity. We have the year 2014 and the eighth month. This is the user, the project manager, with I'm currently logged in, that created the timekeeping entries for this report. These are the holidays the user took in 
the August of 2014. These are exactly these days. Then it is possible to add a setting in the administration settings. I will show them later that holidays that have not been taken in the last year can be taken in the next year but only till this expire date. That means if I have 26 days of holiday in a current year but I took only 20 days so I have 6 days left in the next year and I can take them till the 31st of March in 2015. After this expire date they cannot be taken anymore and they will expire. So this number means that the user took seven holidays in total but zero from the last year. He has zero ill days and he has a total time that he booked with his timekeepings of 26 hours but he has a booked working time of 66 hours. This is because if he had an ill day, this is not a working time, he was not available at the working place, but his working time was booked anyway because he was ill. The same for national holidays. If people or employees, they don't work on national holidays, they will get their normal working time on this day anyway booked. Overtime is minus 102 hours currently and we have overtime reduce of zero hours. This number will be increased. I can just demonstrate. If I click to reduce hours and let's say I got 10 hours paid. And when the cron job runs, I will demonstrate this in a few minutes, then this number will be updated. The project time is different to the working time. These are very important numbers because your booked working time and the project working time should not have a big difference. This is the time that users added by time tracking to a task in a project and this is a time where users have just been available at the working place for example and this booked working time is created by the working time in this form that you can reach by clicking this button. Changed means when this report changed the last time and this is um, yeah, just the type that you see again here, you have a um, monthly working time report. The same numbers we have for a year, but they are all summed up for the current year. Let's log out our user and log in again as administrator. Go to the system settings and run the cron job. With the Elysia cron module you can run every cron job individually. For example the employee cron job will run like this. And if we go back to our timekeeping and view all timekeeping filtered by our project manager. This is of course only allowed for users that have the permission to view all timekeepings. We go to the month, then we will see that he has an overtime reduce of 10 hours. We added this in our previous form submit. And he has overtime updated because this time that we added in the timekeeping was also added to his working time. That means he has less negative overtime. So let's see how we can influence these numbers. First of all, we have Apple employee settings. This is the amount of month that a user can take his holidays that he didn't use in the current year for the next year. 
in this case it's three months and as we saw in our report accessing the timekeeping again all timekeeping and the month we can see that we have the holidays of the current year exactly with an expiration date of three months this is the setting that we added here I will show the screen a little bit more in the center like this also it is very important to set the general working days that means users have to work Monday till Friday but not at the weekend that means if they work on Saturday and Sunday of course the working time will be added to their timekeeping report and if they don't work on these uh, days from Monday till Friday they will not get these hours added to their profile and this will mean that they don't have worked the hours that they need to work according to their contract I will show the contracts later okay so let's go to a contact of an individual user this is the user I will make the screen bigger again and if we edit the user we have a user contract and in this contract I can add some employee settings for example the contract is valid from the 1st of August it's a full employee he has a price of 30 euro per hour including all the costs that are added to this employees working time he has maybe 40 hours a week to work he has 25 holidays a year tax rate is not uh, so relevant for the timekeeping billing duration also not and the expense category is interesting for the reports because if a user tracks his time and it is a freelancer and you added freelancer expenses to his profile you can report your expense reports by this category and see how much money you spend for freelancers and how much money you spend for your full employees so this is a full employee and save let's go back to the timekeeping again all timekeeping day and run the cron job again employee So let's go back to the monthly timekeeping and add a new national holiday in our calendar. This will also influence the timekeeping report of the employees as they will get their working time added to the days of the holiday even if they don't add a timekeeping for their working time. Let's create a new holiday. Let's say it's Christmas this year little bit earlier this year it starts the 24th and ends at the 31st and this type is a holiday let's save this go back to our timekeeping see all timekeeping till this time nothing changed because we didn't run the cron job again the calculation will only happen during the cron runs let's go back and see how the numbers changed as you can see the overtime was uh, reduced because the time at this week where we added a holiday to was added to the timekeeping account of the users this is why we have only 64 hours overtime negative the same changed on the year of course that's it for the timekeeping thanks for your time and hope to see you in the next screencast of apple for service providers